Hi, I'm VJ Davidson and I've been working in the media industry for over 20 years. And one of the things I'm super passionate about is about making the industry more equal, more diverse and more inclusive for everybody that wants to be a part of it. I'm here today at LDE UTC to find out what it was that made them stand out so highly in order to achieve Gold Standard Award from Equality, talking about all things EDI. Welcome. Welcome. The Gold Award is not easy to achieve. In fact, there are only 24 other schools and colleges across the UK who have achieved the Gold Award to date. Being a Gold Award setting means that you are a beacon for others, where the positive impact of best equality and diversity practice is clearly visible. As a person of like different colour, I think it like means, um, it just means a significant amount because um, being inclusive like makes you feel as part of a family. I feel like LD is a very safe place because with the equality, diversity and inclusion being focused on within the whole school, more people feel represented and they feel like they can just be themselves within the school. In other schools, I felt like I should have acted in a certain way to fit in or I should have been different. And in this school, they accept you for being different and, for example, my style and just parts of me. I feel like I don't need to camouflage and instead I can just help other people feel like they belong. I think it's important because we want to make LDETC, um, a school where everyone feels safe and like involved. Um, we don't want um, anyone to like feel left out. Ni, you've created this wonderful masterpiece behind us. Can you just tell me what was your inspiration? At first it was like, uh, it was a competition uh, through uh, the school that provided me. And then I took an inspiration from the painter Michelangelo. Uh, the painting of the work was called uh, The Creation of Adam and I thought oh, I can in incorporate something like that into my work and like put different skin colours and I have to show that we're all like above the same, we're all the same uh, people at the end of the day. So it doesn't matter uh, race, skin, it doesn't matter for anything. Um, I met Kingsley when we had the Black History Month day after school. Uh, he came in to talk about what he does at work. But when he did come in and obviously he was like just like me so it was quite a cool thing to see. And just his type of work was really astounding. You know, he worked with the hypercars, which is kind of a step above supercars, and he didn't just sell them, he developed them. And that kind of opened my eyes to the limits that I can get to with engineering and with work. And I think it's really great that seeing someone similar to me was doing that type of stuff because it raises the ceiling in my mind. And I think that's the most important thing because you can work as hard as you want. But if you don't see the vision and see where you can possibly get, especially from looking at a role model, I think it's really hard to get that by yourself. I'm a long time supporter of London Design and Engineering UTC as the local MP and I congratulate the UTC on being the first school or college in Newham to achieve the Equality, Equality Diversity and Inclusion Gold Award and one of only 23 in the country so far. Well done on a, a really impressive achievement. This award is especially important in our borough. In Newham, we pride ourselves on being the most diverse community of our size on the planet. So doing well on equality, diversity, inclusion is key to any measure of success in our borough. But as our society is increasingly diverse and it is recognised more widely that successful organisations of all kinds need to represent the diversity of our society in their makeup if they are to do well in future. So the priorities reflected in the Equality Award will, I think, increasingly be demanded of education everywhere. And so I'm delighted that, consistent with its great record as a successful trailblazing UTC, LDE has achieved this prestigious recognition. Well done and all the best for the future. The London Design Engineer in UTC is just an amazing learning environment. I've been here a number of times and I'm just so taken aback by the immersive culture, the support, the encouragement that all young people from a whole variety of backgrounds are enabled to sort of progress with their talent and the opportunities that they open up for young learners. 
and giving them the confidence, but also opening up the world to them. And I think it's an absolutely fantastic learning environment. I'm really, really proud that they're here in Newham. We are very, very much a family um, and and I feel EDI is part of that as well. We, we embrace everybody, we embrace our traditions, we embrace our different uh, personalities, we allow each other to be themselves. The wonderful thing about LD is that we are incredibly diverse and we have learners and staff from literally all over the world. My voice changes constantly and the learners, once they know that and they understand the disability, they are very good at looking out for you, um, just, not just me, but everyone. And that's because of what they learn from EDI, that everyone's equal. No, one's, no one is judged by their colour, their gender. Can you tell me what it's like to be here and to work here at LDE and how that translates with your learners? Um, I really absolutely love working here. I've been here for four years um, and it's, it's just a wonderful place to be. And one of the reasons for that is every morning when you walk into reception, you're frequently um, sort of welcomed by um, a new flag or by a new idea or by something hanging from the ceiling. And you're like, what's this? And you get the chance to learn and to understand about so many um, different um, festivals, different ideas, different um, experiences, which I've never had the opportunity to have before. We work very closely with the EDI Society and we look at what's coming up in the year and then when the, the college dates will match up so that we know if learners are in school, there's the potential and opportunity for them to be celebrated and marked well. And what does equality, diversity and inclusion mean to you? For me anyway, it's everything. It's, it's everything. I think it gives you a, a real sense of hope mm -hmm. um, that, that this is possible, mm -hmm. um, that you're not doing this in vain um, and you're instilling a real sense of, sort of confidence in, in, in learners and, and in stuff and I think just in, in, in the environment really that, that um, regardless of sort of what you look like or your background you're able to, to be able to achieve the highest um, sort of success. Ed, myself, I'm sure yourself and other people, we don't always necessarily have the facilities available, let alone the facilities, the people and the way that they're trying to support uh, what I think to be the most important cause, you know, the EDI aspect understanding and teaching equality across all types of demographics. Mm -hmm. Diversity, understand diversity of thought, so not necessarily just about skin tone or, mm -hmm. or gender or sexuality, mm -hmm. and the inclusive nature that this particular college has. Right, um, Jill and Supreme, they had an idea to celebrate Lunar New Year, and they asked if we can help to run some stores and or uh, suggest some books and so we start from there and we run uh, we organize some stores uh, run by volunteers yes because we are living we are in Newham Newham is the most diverse borough in London and it is lovely to have uh, this opportunity to to come to a, a college because our, uh, our our members mainly is the senior citizens and it is the time and the opportunity we can reach out uh, younger people mm -hmm. to let them understand a little bit more about yeah. um, uh, the community, mm -hmm. com about the Chinese community. And Anita, what do you want the learners themselves to take away from the workshops that you and your colleagues deliver here? Well, our aims are to help students understand the importance of learning from history and in particular to understand the importance of tolerance, empathy, mm -hmm. inclusivity, mm -hmm. um, and for them to understand what the seeds of hate, how they can grow into genocide. ETI is really important to the college um, staff and learners. I want everybody who comes through the doors of LDA to feel included here, to feel accepted and that's really, really important. So we do cover those three areas in maintaining that and just in really encouraging that really with the things that we do here at London Design and Engineering. EDI is really important for us here at LDE. It's important because if we look at the people that we look after, the majority of our young people and our staff are ethnic minorities and therefore we need to do something different to be able to persuade 
and encourage and inspire our staff and our young people to motivate each other to do really, really well. And the reason why we put on all these events, I mean events are huge for us, for the EDI uh, programme, but the reason why we do this also is just so everybody can get an app a taste really of what's out there, see themselves in roles that they never thought they could ever do and we bring in these guest speakers and we put on these events so each of our learners can then say or, or feel in their hearts that um, yeah they can actually do that role as well, there's not the you know we hear about glass ceilings and we want to just break all those um, kind of low expectations that people may have that they can't enter certain industries but um, and that's why we do what we do. We know that we can't resolve the wider society's inequalities and we recognise even within ourselves that there's lots of work we still need to do but at least we are a small part of that process and we are happy to be taking on and embracing that journey. And how did you feel when you found out that you'd actually been awarded the gold standard from Equality Each? Well, we absolutely jumped for joy. All of the hard work that Jill and Sabrin and the staff and the students put in has really paid off. It's just really good to be able to look back and say, we've done it. I've had a great day at LDE today, hearing about so many people's different experiences and perspectives when it comes to EDI. It's clear that here at LDE, they are setting the gold standard when it comes to equality, diversity and inclusion for their learners, their staff and future leaders.